Well, good afternoon and happy hot Thursday, my denture wearing friends. You know, let me start out by saying that it is hot here in Southern California today. And I know it might be a baby thing to say that because I know that a lot of you that watch my videos come from parts of the country that are much hotter than where I live. But when we are at 95 degrees by the beach at 50% humidity, man, that's a killer. And, um, you know, this is some of the first uh, intense heat that I've had to deal with uh, since I've had dentures. And I can tell you, it doesn't affect you either way. Your mouth, 98.6 degrees, might go up a little bit higher. You know what I find when the temperature is hotter, uh, the dentures and probably um, the soft liner and the denture fit in there softens up a little bit, you know, fits the contours of the gum line a little bit better. So I actually feel that I get a better fit on hot days. Um, but I still like my 75 degrees, 0% humidity days, uh, and that's why I live in Southern California. Um, because trust me, we do pay the sun tax for living here. Um, and when we have weather like this, well, you kind of feel cheated a little bit. But enough about how hot it is here in Southern California. I know that that's not what you want to hear about. You want to hear about dentures. and. Um, specifically how my denture journey can help you on your denture journey. So today, this morning, I had um, the second dentist appointment uh, in as many weeks, uh, and I will be going to a third dentist appointment next Thursday. So why is that? We have begun the fitting for my permanent dentures. And last week, they took the impressions of my mouth uh, which was cool, a little bit early, but as I said in my last video, I'm okay with that. Why am I okay with that? Because um, I need some dentures that fit. So maybe we call these my intermediate dentures. Uh, that sounds like a good term. I know that Donna Sloan has used that. Um, so let's use that term. So I am getting fitted for my intermediate dentures. Uh, today it was kind of cool because when I went in, I really didn't know why I had the appointment. I honestly thought they were going to be um, taking impressions of the bite. That was not the case. Apparently, uh, the dentist that I go to, uh, he does two impressions. Uh, the first general impression on the mouth, and then these were uh, specific trays to get a more detailed impression of the lower gum line and of the palate as well as the top gum line. So that's where I am currently in the process with my um, intermediate or permanent dentures. Uh, and hopefully these guys are gonna last me, you know, three to five years before I need to go in and buy another pair. Um, but it made me a bit more comfortable with the dentist today because uh, him taking the more detailed impression, he said that most doctors do not do that, um, but he does because he wants to make sure that um, his denture wearing patients have the best possible fit. So kudos to Dr. Doe. Next week, we will be taking the bite impression and then the week following that, I will have my wax try-ins. Uh, so I'm very excited about that. Uh, the whole process is going to end up taking about uh, four to five weeks. Um, and I'm about three weeks out from that now. So I will keep you all informed as to exactly how the process continues to go. What you can expect when you go in for your intermediate or permanent dentures um, and any helpful tips or advice along the way. Um, another thing um, that I did this week is due to the heat, I cut my hair down. Uh, so it is what it is. This is how I look with short hair. I actually wore my hair like this for about three years and uh, just recently in about the past year and a half started growing my hair out. Um, 
But at any rate, yeah, I cut my hair off because it's darn hot here in Southern California. And I have an active job um, where, hey, staying cool, uh, it's a good thing. So that's what I have for you guys today. That's my short little uh, check-in video that I have for you all on this Thursday. Um, and that's what's going on. I guess I could touch on one other short topic um, because for me it's always um, it's always a roller coaster ride, and that is still eating for me. While I have gotten so much better and am able to eat things, anything that I want, whether it be corn on the cob, I can do that. Whether it be an apple, I can take a bite of an apple. Um, but I still find myself making poor food choices, um, AKA things that are very, um, difficult to eat, uh, with your dentures, especially when you're in front of somebody that doesn't know that you have dentures. Um, so what do I mean by that? Well, I mean at home, uh, when I'm eating, I can utilize my dentures in any way, shape or form that I want to masticate that food so that I can swallow it um, and get my nutrition. However, when you are out in the world amongst people that don't know that you have dentures and that you are eating in front of these fine folks, um, it is a good idea to get something very basic to handle. You know, especially only being four months into the journey not having a fantastic fitting pair of dentures. Um, I have found myself making some poor choices when I need to eat in front of people. Namely, uh, a big old hamburger, let's say, for example. I'm not talking a hamburger um, with cheese on a bun and nothing else, that should be pretty easy and maybe I should go to that next time. But when they bring you a hamburger that has bacon, lettuce, tomato, raw onion, grilled onion, and it comes in at about this size, um, as a denture wearer, your heart just kind of drops into your stomach because you know um, that that's going to be very difficult to tackle. Number one, just to open your mouth that wide, and retain the dentures. Number two, it's a soft uh, material more or less, so you don't have anything hard with which you can bite down and push towards the back of your throat to create that uh, reverse leverage on your denture that, um, cr that keeps them from dislodging when you're eating something like a carrot stick or a pretzel rod or anything really that's hard. It's going to be difficult to push that burger into the mouth and Number two, your mouth's too wide, so, so yeah, you're going to dislodge your dentures with that guy. Um, so I'm thinking I need to stick to small food, plates, um, things that um, you don't have to rip because that is also um, something that can be difficult and can dislodge your dentures and people may or may not notice. I mean, at the end of the day, what I found is I'm not staring at people's mouths while they're eating and looking at their teeth and how they chew their food, so they're probably not looking at me that way. Although I can say that I've had to take some pretty drastic strategies as far as ripping and that probably looks pretty odd. Um, but we're working on that. As I said, only four months in with the dentures. So these things, I'm going to get better with them, more skilled. Um, and when I get my new uh, intermediate dentures that fit better and I have better retention, then uh, I'll talk to you all about what that feels like. So there you go. Talking dentures Thursday afternoon, a hot Thursday afternoon in Southern California. Um, so thank you very much for taking time out of your busy day to watch my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. Remember, always be a proud denture wearer. This is Kyle, and I will talk to y'all soon.